here at this thrift shop. They have a Pee Wee Herman. For four dollars, Pee Wee better be babbling. At the thrift store right here, listening to Spin Doctors. What do we got? Primus DVD. I think I'll pick that up. Why the heck not? I found this book right here. This sells for a little bit. I'll grab it. Venomous. That looks pretty neat. Not gonna grab it. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 4K, you don't see that in the wild very often. This reference is just for the New England people. Remember that? 99.7 The Edge. Classic. Hello at the Salvation Army. It looks like someone traded in like their whole collection of blues cassettes. They are three for 99 cents. So I'm gonna grab most of these. You don't see these in the wild too often. Pretty cool stuff right there. They have even more over here. We'll take a look at these later in the video. So I bought that first batch for 25. I didn't look very well, so I went back. I realized they had all these around the corner and they gave me a good deal since I already bought all these. I got all these right here for seven bucks. Crazy. And then I got this case with even more cassettes. This was $8. Never bought this many cassette tapes at a thrift store at one time. I got the blues. <laughs> I am at Chipotle right now for lunch. What I don't like is when people take the hot sauces to their table. So now the smoked hot sauce is not available. That's what these cups are for. So you can help yourself at the little station. You don't take the bottles to your table. I'm channeling my inner Larry David right now. Now I'm at another auction. I took a look around. They have some pretty good stuff, but thought I'd make the entrance for you to make it more exciting. They have this Donkey Kong Jr. I think that's called like a parlor version or something. Uh, really cool right there, but unfortunately it doesn't work. Yeah. Old Coke machine, they have signs. They have a bunch of old computers. Like I've never even seen these before. Atari 400, Atari 800, Atari 1040, 1050. 2600 games. They have this one like in the box. This one's in the box. This is like a super rare Commodore computer. Nice. More computers. They have IMAX in the box. Yeah. They got these CEDs, which are way more trouble than what they're worth, but did have a few cool ones. Escape from New York. Private resort. The Howling. Hard bodies. I want these old Spider Man comics for myself. Because. They'll probably sell for too much, but it'd be nice to yeah. grab these to read. What would you do? Your bride brings this man into your love nest. Hmm. I did pretty good yesterday at the auction. I spent $300. The majority of the money went towards these Spider-Man comics. I paid 100 for these, way more than I usually spend, but I just wanted to own these. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself. So we got like uh, an early, uh, Morbius comic there. That's really good. Uh, you know, early Craven the Hunter. I just love these 20 cent covers. Uh, they look so cool. Yeah. That's an early Luke Cage. Could even be the first Luke Cage. I don't really know. But uh, definitely some good ones in here. So I still got a good deal. I paid less than $2 an issue. So I was happy to grab these. Grab both of these sets of Wonder Wizard bullseyes, which before uh, home consoles like Atari, there were ones with just like, you know, everyone knows there was Pong, but then there were ones with like six in one. Uh, so yeah, at least I'm pretty sure that was before Atari. If you know exactly what year these came out, please let me know. We've got this Atari disc drive right here. The box is beat up, but that it even has a box is cool and it's actually brand new. 
And you can tell it's never been used just by how mint everything is. And it's still in the bags and stuff. And that was only like $30, so great score there. So got these used Commodore disk drives. We got more Atari computers here. Printer of some sort, some software. Cover. Some more software. Timex Sinclair 1500, whatever that is. Atari 600 XL. So this is really cool right here. Got this whole box of Legos for $5. Legos are collectible, but loose ones, you know, aren't worth a ton, but definitely worth five bucks. But after I bought it, I noticed it had this right here, Rodan Instructions. So for some reason that toy loose Rodan is worth like 600 bucks to like a thousand. And then in box it's worth like three or 4,000. So I have to figure that the loose instructions, even though beat up, have to be worth a little bit. So definitely a good score here for five bucks on these. So now we'll take a look at the cassette tapes I bought at the thrift store. Got a really good deal. Like I said, I think it was like $35 all together. And got all these right here. Pretty sweet. Yeah. So in high school, I listened to like a little bit of blues, but not really. Like I had a few Stevie Ray Vaughan CDs. That's about it. I had friends though that liked the blues. They actually liked like every type of music it seemed. Uh, I had a, a friend who liked both Junior Brown right here and Gigi Allen. So very broad uh, palette there of uh, musical taste. Room full of blues. I'm pretty sure they're local to the Rhode Island area. This is live at Lupo's Heartbreak Hotel. I was in a punk band and we played there. So that's uh, pretty cool. Buddy Guy, Muddy Waters. Most of these are blues. A lot by this, uh, you know, Alligator Records. Yeah, BB King, there you go. There's some like Motown mixed in here. I put some Motown ones and country ones aside that I didn't want to be in this uh, grouping here. But yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't see these in the wild too often. Now this whole thing is, uh, you know, kind of like Motown and like country and stuff. Basically, if it's a if it's a goofy white guy, I didn't put it with the in the blues section. So yeah, very happy with my purchase. And it's odd that someone donated all these tapes. If you own all these blues cassettes, you must be pretty depressed. Or does it cure your depression? I'm not really sure how that works. Hey, what's going on? So I just got back from a public auction. I did pretty good. Got a bunch of stuff, including five boxes of comics for $15 a box. There's some okay stuff in here. Nothing too crazy, so I'm not going to take all the time to show those off. But I did get this. This was really cool. A box of cassettes. You know, a bin of cassettes, rather. And it came with all these cassettes. Nothing too special either. Ones your grandmother might listen to, but uh, you know, still pretty cool that there's so many and it came with this cassette deck player. Yeah. I spent a little bit too much on these, I feel, but still a good value. Got the Toy Story 2 Buzz Talking Alarm Clock. These were 35 and there's five of them. I think I'll do pretty good on these. Especially because they're, you know, still in the box. Heck yeah. For 15 bucks, I got the two Lego Harry Potters here. These are super old. These are like 20 years old. Uh, you know, not the greatest shape. I don't even know if they're complete. But for 15 bucks, I'll take these. And it also came with the Mega Bloks Dragon Crystal Warts. 
last but not least, for $10, got a bunch of sealed DVDs. I don't really know if these are worth anything. You got like this box set uh, CD, but I don't think anyone cares about that anymore. A lot of classical music DVDs and stuff, as you can see here. Yeah. Someone really liked Saturday Night Fever. They have three sealed copies. But this one right here is the one that I'm putting all my faith in. I think I'll do pretty good with this one. I've watched this before, but this one is new and sealed, like they all are. And I'm pretty sure this uh, goes for a decent amount. Yeah. Spike Jones used to direct awesome music videos. Like that one. Everyone's seen that Beavis and Butthead episode, right? Can't forget about Magnolia. Love that movie. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. I'm out of here.